Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you three ways how you can put text or write on an image in Word. So I've got these three images here that I've picked. If you're not sure how to insert an image, just go to insert picture, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Select a picture from your files and simply click insert at the bottom here. Once your image is inserted, you will find that you won't be able to move it. So if you select your image, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text, and then you'll be able to move it anywhere in your document. So once you've got your image or images inserted, there's three ways you can do this. So the first way is to go up to the draw tab here select any kind of pen tool from this option at the top you can change the color if you select it click on the drop down you can select from the colors here you can select here the size of the pen tool or the nib of the pen and at the bottom you've got more colors if you click on that you'll find you've got the color wheel you can move the cursor anywhere in the color wheel and select a color of your choice you can lighten and darken the colors by using this slider here and then just click OK. The color of your choice will be in here. So I'm just going to stick with the black at the moment. And once you click on the pen, as soon as you move over to the document, you can see that your cursor becomes a small dot. And with this, depending on whether you're using a mouse or a pen, you can carry on and write onto your image. So if I just write here, and again, this may not be what you want. So if it's not, just hit the command or control key plus the Z key and it will take you back a couple of steps. Alternatively, press the escape key on your keyboard and then you can click on the writing. You can see it will have only selected, depending on how you write, will have selected parts of that text. Uh, sometimes it connects it all together and sometimes it will select different pieces. So just go to command or control Z and it will take out those features for you by going backwards. And then you can just click back on the pen again and then you can try again. Now when you have finished putting your text in, you can actually manipulate it. So press the escape key. So when it has connected everything together, you can then manipulate it by holding down your shift key and you can make it bigger or smaller. If you don't hold down the shift key, it will change the ratio of it, which is fine if that's what you want to do, it's absolutely fine. But if it hasn't connected everything together, all you need to do is select on one word. So let's go back and type that again. So if you find it hasn't selected everything together and you've got individual words, you can connect them together by clicking on one, holding down your command or control key, clicking on the rest of them, go to shape format, go to group and select group. And now when you select it, it will select all of the words. And then you can go ahead again and move them or resize them completely up to you. So that's the first way. The second way is to go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box click and draw a text box. Now all text boxes when they're inserted have a black border and a white background. So you'll obviously want to get rid of both of those. Select it, you may not if you don't want to get rid of them because you want them to be part of the image, that's absolutely fine. You just select it, go to shape format, go along to this icon here which is outline and select no outline and shape fill, click on the drop down. You can either change the color of the fill color or you can select no fill and it will become transparent. Then you can just click inside, you can see my cursor's here, and then just type out your text. Then deselect the box to get your cursor outside the box and then just reselect the box, but don't double click to put your cursor inside. Go to the home tab and here you can manipulate the text in the normal way. So I'm gonna to go to the font color here and I'm gonna change the font color. Then here is the increase font size icon. Just keep clicking on that until your font size becomes the size you want. Let's just go back one. I'm going to move the font over to the right. So I'm gonna align it to the right with this icon here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the font and I'm going to select this Apple Chancery one. And one other thing you can do with this text, you can see there's quite big gaps between these words or this text. So you can either do individual text boxes for each line, or you can select the text and then make sure on the home tab, 
Go to this icon here, click on the drop down and go to line spacing options. Go to the drop down and click on exactly. So it comes up with 12, but because of the size of your text, you don't really want to go much below 20. So let's see if it goes at 12, let's see what happens. You go to OK and you can see it's all scrunched up at the top here because it thinks maybe your text is only about font size 12. So go back up, go back to line spacing options. And I found that if we put in 40 and press enter, then you can see it's a reasonable distance now between those lines. So do have a bit of a play around with that to make sure it's exactly what you want. Then again, you can move the text around anywhere you want in your image. And then if you want to join the image and the text together, select the text, hold down your command or control key, select the image, go to picture format, go to group and select group. And now you can move them both around as one. Finally, at the bottom here, go to insert and go to word art and then you can select on any of these word art options. So I'm just going to select this one here and it's just come up here. Now you can see the difference with this word art is that we don't have the text box which has the black border and the white background but what it does have is a little bit of a shadow on this text. So you have a choice, you can keep the shadow and then you don't have to get rid of the background and the border but if you don't want the shadow, then you've got to get rid of that. So the way to get rid of the shadow, let's just zoom in. You can see it's got a little bit of a shadow behind all of these characters. If you go to shape format and go along to format pane, go to text options and then go to this icon here, text effects, go to shadow, go to preset, click on the drop down and select no shadow. And you can see now instantly that shadow has been taken away. Additionally, the word art will give you a lot of different options. So if you wanted to customize it, then obviously if you select the box, then you can go up to this option here. You can click on the carousel here, or you can click on this arrow here, and you can select from many of these different options. Alternatively, you can go back to the format pane. You can go back to text options. Then you can change the text by using fill colors, text outlines, and also these options here with reflections and glows and soft edges and it's a case of just playing around to see what you like. So here on the text fill I'm going to go to the colour and select white and move it over here and then I'm going to insert my text. So double click inside, command or control A to select all of that text. And then once again, I'm going to you see my cursor is inside at the moment, which means it wants me to edit the text, which is fine. But if I want to edit all of the text, then I have to deselect the box, reselect it. You see my cursor is no longer in the box. Go to the Home tab and I'm going to change the alignment to right alignment as we did before. I'm just going to reduce that text slightly with this decrease font size tool. Then again, I'm going to move the text. But let's say I just wanted to change the font of this particular word here, the dog. Just select the word dog and then change your font to whatever you want. I'm going to select Apple Chancery again just for this one word. But you can also increase the font size if you use this tool here. Again, once you're happy with it, you can select it, select the background image, go to picture format, go to group and select group. And now the image and the text are one element. So that's three different ways you can insert text into your images. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.